The following video will demonstrate the steps to update firmware of devices using the Sure Update Utility. Our workflow assumes that we are connecting to a network of Sure gear. Note that the Sure Update Utility delivers the best results when devices are not networked by daisy-chained Ethernet cables. Instead, connect each device to an Ethernet switch in a star topology. To begin, launch the Sure Update Utility. This application can be launched on its own or through Wireless Workbench 6 by selecting Tools and then Sure Update Utility. This utility allows you to update or revert your hardware to any firmware version available. This tutorial will demonstrate both. You can use the Sure Update Utility to look for the latest firmware versions for supported devices. Select Check for Updates to search for new firmware updates online. The Check for Updates window will display a list of all available firmware versions for supported hardware. Any updates that you do not have on your computer will be automatically checked, indicating that files will be downloaded to your computer. Select Download to begin downloading all checked firmware versions. The firmware will be downloaded to the Sure Firmware folder inside your Documents folder. Now that firmware updates have been downloaded, select Close to return to the main window. To view the firmware downloaded to your computer, select the Firmware tab. All available firmware versions are displayed here. Newly downloaded versions are shown with a blue pip. Right-click on a particular firmware version to perform additional tasks, like looking up release notes, exporting a firmware version, or deleting a firmware version from your computer. The Update Devices tab shows a list of discovered devices that can be updated. In this video, we'll be updating the firmware for an AXT400 receiver, an AXT100 body pack transmitter, and a PSM1000 transmitter. The Sure Update utility updates networked gear directly. Portable devices are updated using IR Sync. Return to the Update Devices tab to begin. Discovered devices are shown with their current firmware version displayed in the Current Version column. Colored pips next to the current version of each device indicate the status of the device's firmware. A green pip means the device is running the latest available firmware, while a yellow pip indicates that a newer version is available to install. A red pip indicates that there may be an issue with the installed firmware version and that an update is suggested before the system is used. To help identify each device, the IP address is displayed in a tooltip over the device ID. Check the boxes to select the devices you want to update. Notice that by checking a row, the Version to Install field will automatically default to select the newest available firmware that has been downloaded to your computer. You can change this by selecting a different version from the dropdown. To update the AXT100, its firmware must first be sent to the AXT400. Select the same version for the AXT100 as was selected for the AXT400. This practice is required to maintain compatibility. Now let's work with the PSM1000 through the same interface. Here we will show how to revert to a previous version of firmware. Check the boxes to select the devices you want to change. Notice that by checking a row, the Version to Install column will automatically default to select the newest available firmware that has been downloaded to your computer. You can change this by selecting a different version from the dropdown. Select an older version from the Version to Install column and ensure that the associated portable, the PSM1000 receiver, has a firmware version selected that matches the PSM1000 transmitter. This practice is required to maintain compatibility. Start the update process by selecting Send Updates. The Send Updates window displays the progress for each device. Note. Do not attempt to close the Sure Update utility or power cycle the hardware during a firmware update. We are now ready to update the portable devices. This is done using the IR Sync functionality. To update an AXT100 or AXT200 transmitter, use an AXT400 that has received the transmitter firmware. To do this, select the TX menu and then IR Presets and then FW Update. The following screen will show you the available firmware version. 
To begin the transfer of the firmware, align the transmitter in front of the IR sync window such that the red alignment indicator light is on, and then press Download. Hold the transmitter steady in front of the AXT400 until the transfer is complete. This may take about a minute. Note that at any time, you can cancel the firmware transfer by selecting Abort on the rack unit. Once the transfer is complete, the transmitter reboots to run the newly downloaded firmware. This completes our tutorial on performing firmware updates using the Sure Update utility. We hope you found this guide helpful.